The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Our Valuing Social Housing project follows on from our Rethinking Social Housing research undertaken between 2014 and 15. A YouTube video is also available of that research at our project webpage. The question of how we value the broad social benefits of providing safe and secure housing to those in need of assistance is important for making the case for investment in social housing. Yeah, I think we have to step back and understand the level of need and the context of need. Um, so about 50% of low income renters are in rental stress and that's increasing year on year. There's also around 200,000 families waiting for social housing and that is increasing and the wait time is increasing and the number of turnovers in housing stock is, is, is lower. What that means overall is that the current settings in terms of policy and funding are not working. The conceptual framework which underpins this research starts by mapping benefits through four lenses, being benefits to tenants, to the broader economy, to governments through extra revenues and to the environment and community. To do this we identified nine domains and a set of housing and non-housing outcomes and indicators which address these broader themes. In this research we have identified four key elements to better value the broad benefits of social housing. Firstly, the comprehensive set of outcomes and indicators. Secondly, understanding the links between social housing and these broader outcomes. Thirdly, defining the return on investment for these. And finally, having access to relevant and timely data to identify the extent of this impact. The framework that's developed as part of this project is applicable across the range of the Housing Authority's activities. There are applications to it, from giving us a lens to evaluate social housing policy, through to being a tool that we can use in urban renewal. The nine domains identified in the project give us the impetus to actually make sure we look and examine those particular areas so that in the end when we actually come through to evaluate these projects we know if we've had a good outcome for the community. Clarifying the nature of the link between having safe and secure housing and better health, education and employment outcomes for example is critical to better understanding the true value of providing social housing. Significant evidence has been found in the literature across these outcomes and indicators which we have identified in this research. This can be a complex web of interactions. Once such an association has been confirmed, a percentage attribution can be established to help identify the return on investment. For this, a composite approach is proposed in order to capture the complex nature of the value returned to the society and to the individual. Four aspects are to be addressed, including firstly, the social return on investment, to provide a ratio of impact to dollars input. Secondly, measuring the impact of safe and secure housing on an average person's well-being and placing a dollar value on these. Thirdly, understanding the value to the individual through their unique story. And finally, understanding the value society may place on equity, that is, on ensuring access for housing to all. The final element is determining what data is available to help us understand the extent of these benefits. My colleague Giles Thompson from Curtin University will explain this element. The issues of privacy make the most useful data, data around individuals, difficult to access. However, there are a number of useful linked data sets, and linked data is the de-identified data pertaining to particular individuals and their access to services, be it health or education or the justice system. So linked data is perhaps for a project like this the most useful data that we can access and fortunately there are some long-running programs particularly in Western Australia with the Telethon Kids Institute who've been gathering linked data for some time and collecting it from various agencies and de-identifying that data and making it available to researchers. Ideally the data sets would be geographically located. This allows us to compare different parts of the city to averages across the city and also the impact that an individual is experiencing compared to the other people in their locality. And one way to achieve this would, to have, would be to have a central repository of data. And this would make data sets more quickly and easily available for those that need to use data to provide an evidence base for policy and decision making. Housing as a, um, as a provision 
is extremely expensive. It's very complicated and it has very long leading times. So if we're going to actually get things right, we have to have better knowledge. And this research is central to understanding a range of those dimensions. What this research has demonstrated is the value that we actually have in having government, industry and academia work together on a project. You get a much better outcome. You have academic rigour as well as the practical components which come from industry and government, from people who actually work in those areas. What you get is something that is practically applicable as well as able to stand up to scrutiny. So it's just a much better outcome for all. We're really looking forward to working together on future projects. Our final research and industry reports, which will bring together these four elements, will be available for download at our project webpage.